I created this course after I thought back to my first experiences working on a help desk and I had no clue what any of it was. After a while, I began to help manage a help desk and things only got more confusing. I made this course for anyone who works on or helps manage a help desk. And it's intended to help you avoid the confusion and frustration that I and many others feel working on them. If you work on a help desk or a service desk, then this course is for you. I bet you felt frustrated and sometimes a bit lost when hearing terms like triage or SLA. Maybe you've seen customers get upset as their ticket endlessly cycles between agents. If you're new to help desks, you should consider this course to make your transition easier. You'll get exposure to concepts and ideas that you'll be using on a daily basis, and you'll better understand why decisions are made. You'll also get hands-on experience in Jira, a popular ticketing system, applying these new skills. If you've been on a help desk for a while, you should take this course to become even better at it. You'll not only gain better understandings of fundamental processes, but you'll expand your knowledge and build on your current skills to be even more effective. If you manage or run a help desk, you should consider taking this course to understand important concepts and ideas that will help improve your processes and your team. Regardless of your role, this course will give you a solid foundation on which to begin or continue your journey with help desks. Our learning journey begins with planning. Before we talk about processes or reporting or other topics, we will need to think through what we'll need to do to be successful. This includes gaining an understanding of customers, determining our team structure, and building out a communication strategy to let people know there's a help desk. Next, we'll dig into help desk processes, which are the machinery that will keep everything moving. We'll examine things like intake and triage, which is how tickets enter our system and get prepared for work. We'll learn about the importance of a solid escalations process or how tickets move to other agents. We'll look into reporting, including basic reports like open tickets or high priority tickets, and then build them in JIRA. We'll take an in-depth look at service level agreements before seeing how JIRA automatically does this for us. We'll wrap up the course, taking a look at some other considerations that will help your help desk improve. This includes things like ticket deflection, or ensuring tickets never need to come into your system, or the concept of ticket equals truth. The idea that a ticket has all the information it needs on the ticket itself to solve the issue. All along, we'll be taking side trips into our free copy of Jira to get hands-on and practice applying these skills in a real ticketing system. In addition to all that great content, I've included a number of downloadable resources for you to take with you to remember key concepts, as well as worksheets and guides for thinking through how to improve or set up your own help desk. Thank you very much for taking time to learn about the Ticketing System and Help Desk Fundamentals course. I sincerely hope you think it's interesting and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the first lecture soon.